Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 11th of 2023. Well, it is titled Spiral Aurora over Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, here in looking at the part of Iceland in the foreground and some very interesting rock structures, but primarily up in the sky, we do see an example of the aurora. Now the aurora are patterns that we see in the sky due to the excitation of oxygen atoms in Earth's upper atmosphere. So these are very high in the sky well above any cloud layers that we might see. And they are not clouds themselves but actually glowing gas. And what happens is charged particles are constantly being emitted from the sun. We have the solar wind, which is a relatively continuous flow of particles. But we also have solar flares that send out more particles in intense bursts. And when those particles strike Earth's atmosphere, they are contained by the magnetic field and funneled toward the north and south magnetic poles. So we always see the aurora at high northern northerly or southerly latitudes. So Iceland being a very far north is a primary place to look for the aurora. Now when those particles do strike Earth's atmosphere, they can hit oxygen atoms high up and cause them to glow and oxygen when excited gives off a very distinct green color that we see as we as we often look at the uh, hydrogen gas elsewhere and hydrogen gas tends to give off a red color. So the different colors that we see tell us something about the elements that are being excited in those cases. So here we are seeing oxygen and we see it when the sun is at its most active. Now the sun has been at a minimum for the last few years and is starting to come out of that minimum and up towards its maximum of activity and that activity increases and decreases on an 11 year cycle. So over the next couple of years, the sun will get more and more active and we can look forward to more and more prominent aurora that will be visible in the sky. During the more intense uh, emissions of aurora, we actually can see them at further southern latitudes. So not having to go so far north, but even further south, although they are extremely rare and next to impossible to see when you get down towards tropical regions. But some of the more temperate zones may get to see aurora during the more intense uh, emissions from the sun. And as I said, we can look for more of those occurring as the sun gets more and more active over the coming years. So that was our picture of the day for January 11th of 2023. It was titled Spiral Aurora over Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.